One way we mark the end of the Thanksgiving holiday season is by pulling out the Christmas decorations and putting up our trees. While this can be fun for the whole family, safety precautions should be taken into consideration. Our reporter Ken McCoy has tips on safely getting your home's Christmas ready. Now that the turkey is gone and there is only a corner of pie left, it's time to get your homes ready for Christmas. But before you go overboard this year, make sure you're following a few safety precautions. So just like with anything else, you know, make sure that there's an adult present. We always advocate to make sure that we have a fire extinguisher present. Uh, there again, falling back on our smoke detectors, make sure we've got working smoke detectors throughout the home. Electrical outlets should also be used with caution. So overloading an outlet extremely uh, dangerous as far as you know becoming a fire hazard, and so we always advocate that you use the minimal uh, number of adapters and things there in your your outlets. Always make sure that the extension cords you're using are just for temporary use, never for uh, long periods of time, and make sure all the products that we're using are UL rated. And when it comes to Christmas trees, artificial is typically safer. Anytime we're using an artificial tree, uh, we feel like it, you know it's a little bit safer than a than a, uh, a real tree, but you always want to make sure that the outlet we're plugged into is safe. There's no uh, shorts, anything, and make sure that you have the tree set up where kids can't, you know, jump or climb and, and knock the tree down or have access to that electrical outlet. But if you plan on putting up a live tree, follow this golden rule. Anytime we're talking about live uh, Christmas trees, we we'll always, uh, always advocate to make sure we keep them watered. You know, that's typically where the, the, the higher fire uh, comes in is where you've got a, a, a very underwater dehydrated tree and that dry uh, tree is going to uh, have much more potential to catch fire and, and burn quicker. So. For Fox 54 News, I'm Ken McCoy.